Greetings everyone, it's your boy Subarashi coming with another video for you all and today I've got to show you some free new Pokemon free new Pokemon that I hopefully that are gonna look like in the game eventually so yeah which I'm gonna show you in this video two of them will be two legendaries which I'll be showing you and one will be a normal Pokemon now the, the two legendary Pokemon uh, are, are confirmed that are gonna be in the game for the DLC. I basically created these designs in, for inspiration when the forms, like the official artwork's gonna come out, or well, if they ever show in the trailer in the future for the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. So let's get into it, let's go. So I'm gonna show you off the first one, which is confirmed by our good leakers, um, future Verizion, yeah, future of Verizion. Verizion is actually confirmed to be in the game's coding. Now, in the game's code, and I don't know what type it's going to be. And as you know, I'm going to show you it right now. The form, the the design that I've created for the game. If if it, I hope it's going to look like this. I hope it's going to look like this. And here it is. So I've actually created some bio for this. Future Verizion, or AKA Withered Verizion, or Verizion. It's I keep <laughs> the name. I keep calling it Verizion, but it's actually Verizion. Okay, I'm going to say Verizion. Carries injustice as has given up on the Pokemon world. Pollution and climate change that's corrupted the world and it is the last of the swords of justice and become something new now This is my like detail that I've added. This is going to be future for uh, for Ryzeon. Yeah, it's confirmed to be the future. So it's going to be a Pokemon um, Pokemon Violet exclusive, which is pretty cool I, I think the Swords of Justice do deserve some more love, I think, in the games. Yeah, they are pretty cool, like, deer Pokemon, I think. I think they're deer, like, Gazelle. Especially Verizion is, a, is a, like a Gazelle-esque like Pokemon. And the design I've created for it is that it's a withered, <laughs> it's withered form, I'd say. Its typing's going to be different. It's going to be, like, maybe Grass Poison, maybe. Yeah, I think it's going to be Grass Poison type or Grass Dark type. That would be interesting as well because it was just Grass type. Or was it grass fighting? I think so. So, the last of the Swords of Justice, yes. There won't be, I think there won't be, like, I hope something, this bio will be in the game. I hope it's something similar to this in the game. And that, I know that uh, in Scarlet and Violet, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that the future is going to be good. Now, this form is probably, I wanted to add something more that this, this Pokemon came from an alternate reality alternate like timeline from from the good scarlet and violet timeline where the future is nice and happy and all the pokemon are happy and there's no corruption i wanted to, to extend that that this pokemon came from an alternate future from the from and it came from the past from a different timeline and and absolutely abhors and hates humanity now that is kind of cool that is some cool lore right there i think that's really good so yeah that is future Verizon. Now for the second one, we have Past Suicune. Yes, we have Past Suicune. Now, here is its bio, which I'll show you. Here's the form that I created. Here we go. Boom. There's the art I've designed. So, let me tell you the bio. A basic design I've designed, as you know. In the past, it had antlers, but the wind and water had dissolved, dissolved them through time. In the past, its relation with unknown was ever greater. Its tail was a single ribbon, but split into two. The reasons why it is split is unknown. Now, this is a cool like design that I've created here. I hope we get something like this in the game. Number one, the design it's basic. It's the same color, a bit bit like darker in color in color than a regular Suicune, past Suicune. I wanted to give him like antlers because I know he just has normal horns. But giving them like longer horns, like antlers, would be kind of interesting to put on it, like a dog Pokemon. Uh, it has extra like fur on its chest, you know, waving, coming from its legs. Uh, also, symbol like unknown symbolism on its like legs as well, which is cool. Maybe in time they also faded away uh, when it when when the present came, like it just come more normalized and the unknown like tattoos you could say faded away during time that's interesting and its tail was a single ribbon so maybe so maybe its tail 
was like maybe it, obviously it was split from unknown reason which i put in the bio maybe having maybe the unknown split it maybe or even like maybe an accident happened like he was like fighting or maybe he sacrificed something to make his tail split into, into two ribbons that's interesting so yeah i also gave a bit of a color different color as you can see a bit of green giving him a jade look which is interesting so also his eye is not red anymore it's green and yeah this is the design i went for and i think it's good now the part its relation with the unknown was ever greater in the past its relation with the unknown was far more like obviously as i said greater and maybe even had like like a like a power maybe it drawed its power from the unknown and gave it to suiku maybe even command the unknown maybe that's even cooler you know guardian of the unknown now that's sick i like this i hope we get something similar to this in the game in the dlc typing maybe water fairy i think water fairy sounds good or just uh same maybe water water um water flying type that's interesting as well but yeah past suiku now the final pokemon which i'll show you is not going to be in a dlc it is gonna i hope we get sent this for the main game maybe number one this design is created by me as you know but the idea was by my boy dusty go go now check him out he is amazing now he gave me a brilliant idea well his idea actually that he wanted to have a tarantula pokemon infected by the cordyceps fungus so i did it myself i hope we get some of this in scarlet and violet maybe for the new spider pokemon as you know leaked we don't know what these pokemon are going to look like but maybe we'll get something like this so if you don't know what cordyceps is it's the type of fungus that affects insects now it's a paras parasitic fungus that controls the the brain of an insect and basically like turns it into, into a zombie bug you know it just dies and then the fungus just grows out of the, out of the bug basically bit like um paris and um paraset you know all those pokemon they're they're similar you know they're, maybe they're even the same thing you know cordyceps fungus grows out of the crab pokemon and just controls you know the body so uh, this pokemon is exactly just like that the cordyceps fungus controls the bug looks for a location grafts the branch or something and just just grows out it just dies but obviously i want to keep this pokemon alive of course <laughs> Maybe this Pokemon could be, as the colorization, it's a tarantula Pokemon that is orangey red that I've went to the colors for. So maybe a fire bug type, maybe? Uh, but a bug poison, the same thing as a Paris and that, maybe? Uh, yeah, different typings. Maybe I could change the color a bit, but the, obviously the, the fungus is so accurate. It's like a red and white. So thank you so much to Dusty Gogo for the idea of this Pokemon, and I've created it for him. So yeah, Cordyceps Infected Tarantula Pokemon. Yeah, which I'll probably name it um, Arachna Arachniceps. There you go, that's cool. That's a cool name. So yeah, Arachniceps for Scarlet and Violet. So yeah, that is two new forms and one new Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. I hope these designs uh, will be similar what we'll get when the games come out. I really know what to know. I really want to know what they're going to look like. Uh, when they finally get revealed these are you know they're just like uh, placeholders you can say these are placeholders that i've designed myself for the game um so yeah that is the video everyone thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time also like the video also comment down below what pokemon you want to see in scarlet and violet also check my twitter if you want to see my artwork before i post them on the video so yeah you can see all my artwork there i love you guys and i see you all next time